hundreds of people had lined the street leading to the church in Annick. They had to be quick to get their photos of William and Harry. The princes arrived at brisk pace, but that was partly because they had to keep up with the groom, Thomas van Straubensee, who had a date which he couldn't be late for. Some of the crowd's loudest oohs and ahs were reserved for the elves. And then came the bride, Lady Melissa Percy, the Duke of Northumberland's second daughter. We're Northumbrians, so we like to come and support our, our families. It's just a lovely atmosphere. Everybody's come out and wish them well. It's just like the Jubilee and stuff all over again. <laughs> the weather wasn't quite so kind when the new husband and wife left the church, but that didn't stop the smiles. The Duke of Cambridge, without his wife Kate, who's due to give birth next month, had travelled to New Zealand with the groom during his gap year before university. Prince Harry might be third in line to the throne, but he was far further back in the queue for a lift to the reception. Annie could come to a standstill for one of the society weddings of the year. James Pierce, BBC News.